I'm on a mission to complete a secret long-term goal on my blaster in the newest MapleStory server, Hyperion. But in order to reach this goal, we have a lot of challenges to overcome. This is a story about how I challenged myself more than I ever have before. This is Blasted. Mm, pocket slot item though. Whoa! An actual flame on this, that's useful. Hey, maybe that was worth doing then. I feel like that was a much easier Magnus clear on this character than it was on my Kaiser, actually. Weirdly enough, like, my Kaiser struggled so much more than this character did. Um, all right, I'm gonna grab these flames and use them. Also, I wanna see if I can make this cape, uh, give it a good flame or something. 52 and five, but it's in, so I don't like it. <laughs> 80 strength, that's pretty good. That's not crazy, but it's pretty good. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna try to e-pot it. Hey, it worked. See, U Garden was worth it. Everyone was sleeping on U Garden. Look at me now, though. Well, that's a, definitely a damage increase. Not a huge one, but it's a damage increase, so we'll take it. That's a little bit of a flex to have an N Mag cape or an H Mag cape on day three. Oh, this is still day two technically. Oh, gloves. I need better gloves. All right, let's flame this, make it a little better. I can do better than 24 strength. 45 is not that good. I can do better than that on a fucking boss accessory. There's some sad flames right now. 12 and five, I think is probably the best I'm gonna be able to do. It's a little lame, but I'll take it. Do I just keep this? I think I'll just keep that. I think I'll just throw some cubes on the gloves and try to get 3% strength on them. All right, let me do my home stuff so I don't forget. All prequests, just nonstop prequests. God, this sucks. <laughs> I love the house system but I liked only having to do the quests once. This is the tiniest little house to have like seven people in. So I need to decide if I'm going to use the EXP coupons to get to level 230 and just do more ass. Should I do it? I only have an hour and 40 minutes. I think I should actually. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's unlock more ass. I think it's probably actually better considering how much time I wasted, but I need to make sure I do these dailies real quick. Um, Did I already, did I already start them? I think I already started them. Arcana, Arcana, Arcana. Where's Arcana? Did I do them? Did I start? Th I don't understand. What did this fucking guy ask for me? Ask of me? Here it is. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Let's just go to the map. Let's just do this. Let's get this out of the way. Of course, somebody's here. Of course. Arcana is not sacred. It seems. I remember when these maps were 100% empty always. Gotta hold down for optimizations. Constantly doing prequests makes you feel so weak, too. Two three-shotting things. Optimized for flexing. You know, I was kind of joking about clearing CRA day five. I think it's actually just really reasonable. It's actually just expected, to be honest, with all the stuff that we have and how strong we are because of hyper burning and the new server release rewards. I don't think day five CRA solo is going to be a problem, actually. Somebody smeg it. Do girls like guys who play Maple Story? Please. Should we tell him? Should we break the news? So how did I go in the portal? That was the, that was the most precise movement I've ever done in my life. All of, and the end result was going through a portal I didn't want to go through. No, I'm not switching mains. I know people are, I know people are hoping that I will. Maybe one day I'll, maybe one day I'll wake up and be like, hmm, huh. I just hate Blaster, actually. This sucks. That'd be funny. That would be funny. To switch mains to just make a new Blaster. Oh my god. Friendship ended with Morass. Now Celis is my best friend. Was that it? Alright, time to do that three more times later. Over the next 20 minutes. I gotta get through this fast. I think I will be able to do the dailies no problem today, but... It's gonna be a little closer than I would like. Arcarium actually have damage reflection here? Is there any point in doing damage to him? Okay, yeah, he does have damage reflection. What if I just wait? What if I just wait 30 seconds? Yeah, I knew it would kick me out. Fuck you, Nexon. I'm just gonna survive. Watch me. Try and kill me. Shoot me. All right, I didn't get the symbol, I don't think. Did Wait, did I? Did they shorten this? What the hell? Do I need, I think I need to do more to actually unlock the dailies though, right? Oh my God, I have three more node slots. What the fuck? All right, well, let's just enhance what we can. Might as well just start adding things to the matrix, I guess. 
I've never used resistance infantry before. I kind of understand how it works, but yeah, I've never really used it. Where do I even put it? I guess V. Weapon aura. Weapon aura is simple, though. Weapon aura is simple. Actually, I kind of want to keep that on there. All right. Now I need to do the rest of these quests to unlock the dailies. If you look at Link skills and their importance, Mechanic finds its way near the top for us specifically because of its shared Link skill with Blaster, Spirit of Freedom. Their Legion effect of increased buff duration is sort of universally useful, even if Blaster doesn't particularly benefit greatly from it. I eventually came to regret the decision of putting Mechanic through 0 to 100 since I found the class to be very fun to play. It would have been more beneficial to do 0 to 100 on anything else. The original plan was to do food storage to reach level 141, but since I had already done food storage three times this week, I had to put that off for a while longer. Back on my blaster, I searched around a bit for a map and eventually found a suggestion from the blaster discord to grind at the map the deepest part of the cavern lower path. I call this the snail rotation. SGP across the top, place air to fountain on the far right, and that's it. You look like a snail when you do it. 12,000 kills per hour and 21 billion EXP per hour. This quickly became my new favorite grinding spot, and this was primarily due to how simple the rotation was. There are more intensive options available, but I wasn't quite ready to take that leap into difficult training rotations on Blaster yet. Woohoo! Level 233, yay, we did it! Woo, yay! So, if I'm getting 21 bill an hour, getting to 236 might actually take, like, the next three hours. However... Oh, that's pretty good. So if I get 8% more, I can actually just shoot straight to 236, and I think I might do that. So at 51%, we'll say 52% just to be safe. I'll go ahead and just boost straight up to 236. And then I can get a, uh, a couple mules done tonight. Then, oh shoot, but I need to do Esfera. So then I guess I have to do Esfera. Then I can do maybe one or two characters to level 70. That's kind of good timing for my EXP coupons to expire. Because I think I have just enough EXP to boost up to 236. Okay, let's see. Might be time to start doing Esfera prequests. Yep. Level 236. Ah, it's on cooldown. Whatever. Oh wait, I got more node slots. One more node slot. I just got done doing the most relaxing 230 APM grinding. I'm so disinterested in the idea of doing <laughs> high APM grinding right now. What, what, what's the deal with this flare? Did I mess something up? No, I just have to get it from the drop? That's weird. At least this unlocks the last symbol fucking finally. I don't know what the fuck the sunlight statue is. What was I doing? Oh, my hyper burning rewards. Probably should have grabbed these a while ago to help with one shotting with after image shock. Hey, what the fuck, by the way? What? Where's the flare? Is this just really bad RNG? Doing most things on blaster is like three plus buttons minimum input. So I'd be right at home on Ilium. Dude, I have to be doing something wrong, right? No, they don't have them. Ollie. Ollie, they don't have them, dude. This isn't where we get flares. Let's just go, just get it off of Amazon, dude. These guys, these turtles don't have them. Am I hunting for Nep and Death's honey? Why have I not found this very basic item for this first quest in the pre-quest? What is happening? No, I didn't try asking nicely, you're right. Oh, hey, look at that. I entertained the idea of asking nicely. And it happened. So Esfera might be a little rough just because of how strong the monsters are. Even with the HP reduction, this might be a little difficult. But Moras was yeah, Moras was still pretty rough towards the end. Moras was a lot longer though. It's gonna be nice to finally get this done. After three entire days. Ugh. Living Spring 5. Where are my legions at right now? 729. Oh my god, I've never assigned anybody to the Legion grid, I just realized. I should probably do that. I wonder how fast I can reach 3k legion. Well, actually, with all this, with these haste events and stuff, actually, it might not be that hard at all. It's wild to think that this character is going to have so many first boss clears. A lot of my first boss clears have been on, like, Mihail and Paladin, which are generally considered to be fairly easy classes. I guess this class is pretty easy, too, with all its damage reduction and stuff. Safe. 
Sure, we'll say safe. I never play classes that aren't safe. Just like by coincidence, really. Favorite Arcane River boss? Oh, it's Lucid. I mean, it has to be Lucid, dude. Like, as a, her as a character, plus the fight being kind of like... I remember when I was first getting into Maple Story, the damage cap was still 50 million, I think? And Lucid was out? And uh, clearing Lucid was like... The, if, like, Lucid was the final boss at the time. So Lucid was kind of my entry point to like, oh, this is a this is a hard boss. So I have that association and I just really like her as a character. I'm very close to my microphone right now, by the way. I, I realize I realize I do this when I get tired. I just get really close to the microphone like, hey, guys, what's up? I'm very tired right now, by the way. All right. Asfera done. We did it. We got another thing accomplished. All right. What would even be an easy monster to kill here? Probably just Atween. Honestly. They're all gonna suck for me right now. Oh, equip the symbol, equip the symbol though. All right, so now that we have Esfera unlocked, we're going to spend all of these nodes on Esfera. Straight to level seven. All right, I'm gonna claim these. Use these all real quick. Now we finally have every major area of Arcane River unlocked at least the ones that give arcane symbols. From this point onward, all there is to do is level these symbols up with dailies and weeklies, the number of monsters I have to kill for these daily quests, and the number of times I have to do the weekly minigames can be reduced by unlocking further areas in Arcane River, but I had something to take care of before I even entertained the idea of leveling up further. All right, what do I need to do right now? Oh no, I know what I need to do. I don't want to do it though. Things I don't want to do it though. It's time to do the Princess No prequests. Kind of got to do them, but hey, at least afterwards we get to kill Princess No. I, yeah, it could be worse. Could be the prequest I have to do immediately after this. <laughs> now I don't need to do um I don't need to do Lotus and Damien immediately after this. I'm just gonna get Princess No knocked out tonight, and then I'm gonna try to do one or two Link characters. Try to get a little more done tonight. And also, just the sooner I get these done, the sooner they're done, and I never have to think about them again. Could be worse. Yeah, could be fighting Princess No. <laughs> fighting her is gonna suck. Oh, God. This is how you do it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Mega Bitter Medicine. Oh my god. Oh, looks like I gave up on Blaster. Now I'm playing Ayame. Typical Blaster main. The amount of time that I spent as a kid playing Animal Crossing Wild World is so ridiculous. Like, literally entire days laying in my bed playing Animal Crossing Wild World. It's ridiculous. I never got into another Animal Crossing game to that degree. Brings me back, though. I remember seeing the ads on TV. And then that just makes me think of, like, being a kid again. The good old fucking days, dude. I'm just, I'm so patient with this quest, I don't even care. I, cause I remember the days of doing it where you had to do it three times in a row. So, like, nowadays only having to do it once, I'm like, wow, this quest is just so nice. When you're introduced to pure torture, and then they, uh, they reduce the torture, to just like some some cuts on your skin, you think to yourself, wow, <laughs> things really are nice. Just wow, my life really couldn't get any better right now. All these characters is ruined. Do I attack this or click it? I did both, so I'm, I am I didn't learn anything. Sniped his ass. This might be the highest level I've ever been doing Princess No Prequest. Alrighty, just a little more. I like how it shows my... Dude, what is going on with my dynamo gauge? Do you see this? <laughs> this is never how the dynamo gauge looks, ever. This doesn't make any sense. So that's Princess No Unlocked. Let's go knock it out. It's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. It'll be worth it. Princess No's fight consists of four stages and then the boss fight itself. It's actually kind of a party quest with the way it's designed, though it's been changed to be soloable very easily nowadays. Stage 1 is the Pink Whale. After killing all the brainwashed horsemen in the map, Mikagami will spawn and this enemy will waste most of your time in this fight. She has 15,000 HP and takes a fixed amount of damage, 10 per line. This means you have to deal 1,500 lines of damage to kill her. 
That doesn't sound too bad, but the catch is that she'll teleport you to a random spot on the map after you hit her, and this ability has a cooldown of just two seconds, which is about as long as it takes to get back to her after being teleported. Sometimes you'll get teleported to a spot where you can keep attacking, but this is purely RNG. Most of the time you get teleported down to the bottom of the map. There are, as far as I'm aware, only two ways to deal with this teleport mechanic. The first way is to have a teleport skill of your own. If you spam teleport while attacking Mikagami, it can't actually teleport you to a random spot on the map. I guess manually teleporting left and right takes up the same action and you just won't be warped. I did this on my Kaiser in JMS using Final Form, so I'd assume it works for just about any true teleport. Blaster does have a teleport to deal with this mechanic, actually. We can use Muzzle Flash to avoid the teleport, but it's kind of janky. I haven't practiced it enough at this point that I can really say I'm comfortable with it, but it does work. Outside of avoiding the teleport, our other best tool to defeat Mikagami is Rocket Punch the skill that adds 16 lines to every no-reload combo. After eventually killing Mikagami, we can move on to Stage 2. This stage functions differently depending on region, but for GMS, we'll have 5 sets of 8 Oda Swordsmen who all take a fixed 100 damage per line. This means 200 lines to kill them. This is the same thing as Mikagami, just deal as many lines of damage as you can. After defeating all five sets of Oda Swordsmen, Renka will spawn. She has very low health, so just take her out and we can move on to the third stage. Stage 3 consists of killing the brainwashed spearmen and then the eels who spawn after doing so. Oura Shogun will spawn, but he's not attackable yet. The eels will attempt to destroy the lightning seal orbs, and if they do so before they're killed, they will increase Oura Shogun's damage. If all five are destroyed, he'll output enough damage to one-shot most classes. But the thing is, it's not possible for these orbs to be destroyed anymore because after a minute has passed, the eels will be despawned, and it takes them over a minute to even break one orb, so you can just ignore this mechanic entirely. Aurora Shogun will spawn after this minute timer as well, and he's also very easy to kill. On to stage 4. The final stage before Princess No herself is mostly a mini-boss fight. Defeat the brainwashed Spearman and Miroku will spawn. Miroku has higher HP than any other mini-boss we've seen so far, but he's still not too difficult to kill. He does actually have one mechanic we need to watch out for though, which is the Infinite Flames attack. The bar for this attack will appear over Miroku's head while he's casting it, and if you can use your iframe or hero's will at the exact right time after the bar disappears, you can avoid being caged. This cage can be broken by other players, but if you're soloing it, it will just lock you in place, unable to do anything for, I think, 30 seconds. After Moroku is defeated, it's on to Princess No herself. At this stage in the game, with power creep having made everyone so strong, Princess No's mechanics are not really even that important anymore. And I guess I say that because I don't even know what they are. I usually just kill her so fast that I don't even know what she does, really. The things you need to watch out for are the infinite flames attack that she also possesses, but if you get caged, you can simply click on the portal on the bottom left of the map and teleport back to stage 4. This breaks you out of the cage and allows you to re-enter the princess no fight without her recovering any HP. She'll summon a few enemies and become invincible until they're taken down. These enemies take fixed damage like most monsters in this PQ, and this is actually the only mechanic that I watch out for in this fight nowadays. Princess No can't be bound with regular binds, so you need to be careful when bursting her down. I cannot tell you the number of times that I have started bursting just for her to summon these enemies that I have to then take out before I can even do damage to her. Once you reach close to 10k stat, the fight becomes super easy. The one thing to watch out for is that if you're a squishy class, Princess No can hit somewhere between 30 and 40,000 damage, so you gotta be really careful about that. Oh my fucking god, you motherfucker! Oh. Okay, I'm not doing Princess No then. Let's just go do Vanishing Journey and other arcane weeklies. <sighs> Let's get these symbols. I knew that was gonna happen. Mm, I also need to do Scrapyard and Dark World Tree. No, we crashed halfway through Princess No, so I decided not to do it. I'll do it later. I have until Wednesday to clear it, so there's no rush. 
Did I get, did I get any levels? I did get a level. Awesome. What am I looking for? Bed. Or couch. Ooh, achievements. Clear midnight chaser in under 100 seconds. That's pretty good. I'm surprised I did that, actually. Wow. It definitely has to do with Blaster's insane movement. That's the only reason I got that. <laughs> no, come on. What was that? Fuck off. I used to always try and max my Arcana symbols first because I hated the idea of doing Spirit Savior. So I would funnel all event symbols and stuff like that into Arcana over everything else. And people used to call me inefficient. I mean, I just got the achievement for clearing Flopsy's Dreamweaver or whatever it's called in 100 seconds. And now this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm also probably just really bad at this. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget that. I'm also just probably really bad at it more than anything else. I don't want to admit it, but it is the truth. So I'll say it. Oh, I looked at chat. Fuck. Oh, we're done. OK, good. Yeah, just motherfuckers be telling me you have to play this way. You have to play like this. No, I don't. You might have to play like that, but I don't. This one's not as intensive. You can really take your time on this one. I like this one a lot. It's kind of like Spirit Savior, but without the annoying parts. All right, one more time. Oh my God, and level seven on that. Let's go. Every symbol is level seven. This is my lucky day. All right, what was I gonna do? Scrapyard and Dark World Tree Weeklies. These reset very soon. Today was a day full of weeklies, it seems. The next set of weeklies we'll be doing are Scrapyard and Dark World Tree. Completing five quests in both of these areas will reward us with the materials we need to craft a single Absolab coin and Stigma coin. Combining these materials with the drops from Lotus and Damien will give us these coins, which can then be traded for Absolab gear in the future. It's pretty important to get started on doing these weeklies as early as possible, even if you're not able to clear Lotus and Damien just yet. You're going to need quite a few coins to complete an Absolab set, and this is the only way to get these coins. The materials can be traded through storage, so you can do this on multiple characters to get one coin per character per week. We're not really interested in getting Absolab gear just yet, so I'm just preparing for the future. Talk to patrol bot. Which patrol bot? I forgot how much nicer these are when you actually have uh, unlimited hyper teleport rock. I need to make an Aaron. And with the haste event stuff going on and all the two times coupons they're giving out, I might just rush it straight to 120. Oh God, I'm not looking forward to Helix. Oh my. Whoa. I jumped up to 11k stat. Jesus Christ, dude. We'll stop seeing such huge jumps in stat now, though, because there's no more symbols available for me to claim. I'm going to try to do uh, Aaron before I go to sleep tonight. So I'm going to do Aaron tonight. And then tomorrow I have to do Lotus and Damien prequests. But that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm thinking that's the last of the big prequests. I'm not looking forward to that, but I'll get it done. You know me. How important is after image shock actually to level? Mira, are you still here? Should I put my EXP nodes into after image shock? Or should I put it into like something else? Oh yeah, I forgot we have other blasters in the chat. Yeah, I heard, I, I know it's really, really good for mobbing. I just don't know if it's worth putting experience node stones into. 100% worth it. That's good enough for me. Let me just, how hard, how, how hard will this get me? Hmm. Wow. This gets me all the way to fucking rank 24. Well, that's awesome. I just leveled up my after image shock node. It's by far the best node to level before anything else, especially since I'm going to be grinding a lot from now on. Leveling nodes is similar to leveling skills in any other job advancement, but instead of using skill points, we use EXP acquired from duplicate nodes or EXP node stones to level fifth job skills. We've received quite a few EXP node stones from hyper burning rewards and regular node stones can be disassembled into node shards. These shards can then be reassembled into nodes of your choice, and this is how you can level a specific node without relying purely on RNG. Eventually, we're going to want to have every skill and boost node maxed, but this is going to take a very long time. Every node stone drop I get gets me a tiny bit closer to maxing these fifth job skills. Alright, 
Got a little bit of cores. Let's go to stupid other place name place I can't think of. Shields. Did we get shields? Eliminate the shield bearers. That's okay. Polluted tree sap. I forgot I have resistance infantry. I've never ever used this skill. Holy shit. It's strong. I used Phalanx Charge so much on Mihail that I just think all skills like that are just like Phalanx Charge where it doesn't really do a lot of damage. This has a very short duration though. Eight seconds. What's the, uh, what's the cooldown on it? 25. That's rough. That's weird. That's going to be weird to get used to. Um, that doesn't have a cooldown, so I'll just put that there. There we go. I got to remember to use it when I'm bursting. I keep forgetting it exists. Two spawn cycles? Oh yeah, I guess so. Just have to figure out where you would put it. It has more range than I would have expected too. I don't know what the fuck I thought this skill was. I thought this skill was like a melee range, weak hitting little thing. I don't know what I thought it... Eh, whatever. Never used it before until now. All right, all done with that. Now I need to get on my... I need to make an Aaron, get on the Aaron, and see if I can pull off reaching level 70. I don't think I'll need all this. I don't think I'll need all of this stuff for my Aaron, but I might as well put it in here. The next link skill on the list, Aaron's Combo Kill Blessing. This link skill increases the amount of EXP you get from the orbs that are summoned as you reach combo kills of multiples of 50. This is one of the less important and less impactful EXP link skills, but Aaron is generally considered to be a strong class, so it's easy to level without much funding on a new account. This link skill is very good for characters under level 200, but since we're well past 200 at this point, it's not going to have a huge impact. But I figured that any source of EXP would be helpful, and with it being such a strong class, I decided to skip doing 0 to 100, saving that slot for a class I enjoyed playing less. Where are the key? What's the keybind? Oh, wait, maybe you can't change key bindings right now. Yeah, you can't. Sucks that you can't skip this. Aaron's flash jump is really fucking fast or far or potent or strong or whatever word you want to use. It's really good. It goes a lot farther than I thought it would. Let me talk to the big pole arm. I think I need this skill. Why do I? Did I not get a pole arm? What the fuck? There it is. All right. I'm just going to try to grind straight up to 30 and then do theme dungeons. My usual strategy. I should probably buy a teleport rock. I think having these two times coupons will make a big difference. So I didn't really have a lot of two times coupons when I was leveling characters to 70 in JMS. All right, gold beach monsters. One through 30 takes so fucking long. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking of looking for a map that spawned um, runes. I'd probably just do that. So you might as well take advantage of my rune link skill. Rune duration link skill. I keep forgetting. I, I keep forgetting that this is not reboot exp anymore this is just normal exp like like why is this taking so much longer we'll see you now this look like a little too late i'll take it i guess but these streams are so weird because it's just by the end i'm fucking tired like way more tired than i am normally after streaming this is real tired this is like this isn't tired like tired of streaming Tired, I'm gonna go edit videos. This is tired, like, the moment I turn off stream, I get in bed tired. I used to go here at level 30 immediately after getting job advancement, back when reboot HP was still really high, and I would spend, like, three or four minutes getting one level. <sighs> Fucking hell, I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this right now, but this makes by far the most sense. I'd rather do the... I don't think grinding is going to beat doing theme dungeons yet. It's still too early in the account progression. Maybe my rune sickness wears off. Fuck. That's a ridiculous outfit. When do I get my mega burn? I have two days till I get mine. I can't do it. I can't do any more tonight. I do have to go to bed. I'm too tired, but I'll be back when I wake up. In the end, I got sleepy and wrapped up day three before completing my goal. I still accomplished a lot on day three, and I'm very happy with the progress so far. We still have plenty to cover on the road to 260, but that's going to have to wait until next time. 
Thanks for watching. Before we end this video, I want to give a quick shout out to my channel members as thanks for their continued support. Remix My Life, Maple Ream, Tiago Nascimento, and Gummy Bullet for joining at the Togang tier. Velarex, Cass T, Aya Ayung MS, Sonia, Lake Tiger, and Ayu Bidrissi for joining at the Togang Junior tier. If you want to support me, one of the best ways to do so is by joining the channel as a member. You'll get a special role in my Discord server, access to my video schedule and future plans, and my eternal thanks for allowing me to do what I love.